every so often, the sports hangover touches on mature topics. Discretion is advised. Welcome to the Sports Hangover. That is Michael Benatar, but the pretty face over here. I am Jeremy Garrison, and we are excited to talk about Tiger Woods today, Mike, because there's yeah. big news, multiple stories about Tiger out there. You know, he became the number one golfer in the world today. I know. With a win at the Bay Hill Invitational, just a few miles from my house, you know, here in Orlando, the epicenter of the sports world lately. The other thing that happened, he jumped on Facebook and put up pictures with Lindsey Vaughn. It was a little awkward how they announced their relationship to the world with what? some pictures it was all well i thought he like announced it because of all the paparazzi were out there getting him and he said some sleazy website he didn't want the sleazy websites to get it first or something like he went out there and said so he like, jumped the gun he jumped the gun he wanted everybody to know he was with Lindsey vaughn uh jeremy i think the bigger news is that you were next to tiger and could have messed up one i know was it a putt or was he well, here's the thing. I was out there on Saturday. It was a shot in the fairway. And just as he went in his backswing, I sneezed. I can't control it. I've sneezed on the show before. You've seen it. Our viewers have seen it. And I sneezed in his backswing. He gave me a dirty look. Luckily, he didn't hit me with his club or anything like that. I'll, but, I'm going to put the picture up. Hopefully, right now, they're seeing it over our face. You sneezing, and I'll circle you. because It's, it's pretty <laughs> funny. Green shirt. You'll see me there. Know, Tiger's just walking away after the sneeze. I had a sneezing attack right in front of him. Jeremy, but I think the bigger deal is number one in the world. This is his first time number one since 2010. This is his first time back since all the madness. He's won six of his last 20 tournaments, six wins in the last year, which is just an incredible rate. The next closest person to him in that time frame is three wins by Rory McIlroy. Tiger is dominating the world of golf right now, and the majors are coming, Mike. I'll be in the Masters at two weeks to give you a full report on what Tiger's doing there. So this is what I think gets me with this. Rory switched to new clubs. He's no longer number one. He's been on the downfall, maybe breaking up with his girlfriend, having issues, getting his teeth pulled. <laughs> what is, I, maybe, is there no competition for Tiger? Is he just number one, or is there like an asterisk next to it? At, I'm number one, asterisk, there's no competition below me. No, you can't say that. It's like we we talked about the Miami Heat a, a few days ago. The Miami Heat have won all these games. There's no asterisk because the NBA is down this year. They won all these games because that's what they deserve. That's what they did. Tiger is facing competition every time he plays a golf tournament. It's up to the individuals to rise above. And Tiger's been dominating this year. He has three wins and like five events this year. That is nuts. That is nuts, Mike. Do we think it all to Lindsey Vaughn then? Do you think he's stable now? He's got a relationship is this all? I think that's I think that's what's happening. I think everything in his life has come back full circle. You know, he's happy again. He has a hot blonde. That didn't change, right? She's an athlete. And he's winning golf tournaments. Everything is back together now. If he starts cheating on Lindsey Vaughn, he'll start winning majors probably, right? Exactly. Yeah, I, I think so. I agree with you. So he's number one. What What were you gonna say? You're do we number- lose respect for Lindsey Vaughn here? We do, right? You lose a little because you know Tiger Woods went through twenty plus prostitutes before. He settled down with her. A hundred so, plus. A uh, hundred plus. So, well, 20 plus. I mean, it could be, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you lose a little for her because. Because she could have anyone she wants, any athlete, any celebrity you would I mean, think. Could she, she went with Tiger. She's not that attractive. She's attractive. She's attractive, but she's not like anybody. She's not stunning. She's yeah. attractive. She's a, Yes. So, yeah, you lose a little respect for her because she's now Tiger Woods. I don't know. Now, how about on the flip sex- side? If she's not stunning, is Tiger dating down here? I don't think Tiger's dating down. I think this helps Tiger because she's an athlete as well, so maybe it helps him a little. And, I mean, those prostitutes he was having sex with weren't the best looking. No, a lot the of them were busted. <laughs> yeah. And How about I, that Denny's waitress? <laughs> but she does look like a busted version of Tiger's ex-wife. Elin, who is super smoking, yeah. and she still is. She's out with some billionaire yacht owner right now, right? That's what I mean. Well, good for her. Yeah, Why not? Good for All right. If uh, if you want to subscribe to us, go to youtube.com backslash sports hangover. Come back here for updates on Tiger at the Masters. Yes, Tiger on the Masters. We will when are the Masters? Give out a date. This next tournament in two weeks. I'll be there. Two weeks. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we don't get molested in rest interviews. We'll be back sometime soon.